Hey, Mr. Mice is here again with you to do the last one here on exponential functions. We are, I know I keep looking to the side here. We are looking at integrating exponential functions this time. So I'm going to talk to you about, um, you know, just basically going backwards from what we did in the last video. And how do we integrate them? So I, up here I've got the rules for integrating exponential functions. And just like the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, the integral of e to the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. Um, when we're doing a reverse chain rule, we've got to look to see if there's something multiplied by that e to the x. Um, it should be whatever that derivative of that power is, right? So we're basically doing the same thing that we did with reverse chain rule with e to the x, except we're looking at the power. If we're dealing with a um, an exponential that's not an e, so something with a different base, then we're going to need to divide by ln a. Just like we multiplied by ln a with the derivative, we have to divide by ln a. When we take the antiderivative. So let's go over a few examples here that I have, and um, oops, and then we will. Uh, well, that that'll be it. So I've got a few examples here for you. Let me zoom in. Zoom in here. Okay. So let's take this one here, and uh, we've got a, a definite integral. So notice here that we have a power that we've got to deal with right here. So we need a reverse chain rule. So on the side here, that derivative of that's going to be 2x. So we have an x, so we need a 2, and we need a 1 half here so that this is our hook that goes away. So we're going to end up with 1 half, 4 to the x squared minus 1, divided by ln of 4, because we're doing an uh, exponent that's not an e. And we're going to evaluate that from 0 to 1 half. Okay, so when we put in the 1 half in there, we're going to get 1 fourth uh, minus 1. So we're going to have 4 to the negative 3 fourths over 2 ln of 4 minus. We're going to plug the 0 in. That's going to give us a negative 1. So that's 4 to the negative 1 over 2 ln of 4. All right, we're going to go and leave it like that because we don't need to simplify that. All right, next one. Let's take a look at the next one that I have here. And it is uh, integral of e to the 2 over x divided by 3x squared. Now, again, this is a reverse chain rule because we have something other than an x here. So we're going to have to deal with this. So we're going to have 2 to the negative 1. And the derivative of that is going to be negative 2x to the negative 2. Now we've already got the 3x squared down here because this is this is um, negative 2 over x squared, right? So what are we going to do? Well, I think the easiest thing here to do is just to take out this 3 as a 1 third and then uh, put in a negative 2 here that I need right here. And then, so let's, let's rewrite this. Let's write this as 1 third, the integral from, for e, to the 2 over x over x squared. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, I know I can't have to change that. I'm going to go ahead and take and put my negative 2 here. And I'm going to multiply that by negative 1 half out here. Okay, so that way this right here, right there, becomes my hook that I get rid of because that's what I had here. Okay, dx. And I am going to now, oh my God, if you see me moving my head like this, it's because there's a fly buzzing right in my face. I missed him. Okay, back, back to this. Um, so I'm going to end up with uh, one third, actually negative one sixth, e to the two over x plus c. Ooh, what's that going? It's going away there for some reason. It's wanting to disappear. All right, and this is my answer right there. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. Number nine. Oops, sorry guys. I keep having to change my pen here because it doesn't like to, it wants to start out. I got to figure out how to get it so it stays with that thickness. Okay. So notice here we've got to the fourth power, we've got all this stuff in here. I'm guessing this looks a lot like this over here, only with a minus sign. I'm guessing this is a reverse chain rule. 
Let's see, this is the inside here. What's the derivative of that? The derivative of that is going to be e to the x and plus e to the negative x. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times negative 1, because that's the chain rule, right? e to the negative x minus e to the negative... Well, look at that. That's right here. So I already got my hook. Okay, so really what I have here is e to the x plus e to the negative x to the negative fourth. And I've got my hook. I'm going to go ahead and put in parentheses, dx. So I'm going to hook that one out. And I'm going to have e to the x plus e to the negative x raised to the negative third power divide by negative 3 plus c. All right. All right, let's look, take a look at the last one we got. Oh, I can't move it over anymore. So let's... Let's hope that this is not in the way of my face. That's on the screen. Mr. Maestas, move your big heed out of the way. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, this is cosine e to the x, right? So what's a derivative of, well, what's the inside function? The inside function actually here is e to the x. What's the derivative of e to the x? e to the x. Look, there's my hook already, right? So really, What's the antiderivative cosine? It is sine e to the x plus c. And that is it. This is the whole thing. Just think about it. If you took the derivative of that, the derivative sine is cosine e to the x times the of the inside is e to the x. That's what you get. You get the answer that we or the thing that we had before. And you're done. Boom. That's it, guys. <sighs> See you later.